So Lyft made some changes to their destination filter. Some I like, some I don't like. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three strategies I've come up with so that you can maximize your profitability using these, uh, the destination filter. And stick around, I'll share with you one mistake I've made, and by sharing it, you can avoid it for yourself in the future. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and today we're gonna to be talking about Lyft and the destination filters. So Lyft calls it the destination mode. And I, I recommend you go to the website, and you, and you, the, the Lyft website, and, and do a search for destination mode. And when you do, you're gonna come across this bit of information, which is actually really valuable. And uh, you know, take a look at it. How to enter destination mode, it tells you how matching works. All right, so first recommendation, check out the website at lyft.com. Now, one of the big differences between the old system and the new system is now there are two different modes to choose from. And what you're seeing right here are some screenshots which show you the two different modes. The first one is called Head to Destination. And that's your basic classic uh, mode where you just set a destination and you're only gonna get rides that take you closer to your destination in terms of time. You may get a trip that takes you further away but because of traffic, you're actually closer. And then the second screenshot, we see a new feature which is called Arrive on Time. Now, the way Arrive on Time works, because I've been using it a lot lately, is let's you, you set a time by which you want to arrive at your destination. So strategy number one is use the arrive at home at the end of your shift to get you home at a time that you want to get home. So typically I'm working from five in the morning till 10, um, 10 in the morning, that's five hours. And what I'll do is at about 8.30, about 8.30, I will set the destination mode for arrive on time at 10 o'clock. And say I'm 40 minutes or so away from home. Um, so you wanna be sure and set plenty of extra time because you wanna make sure you get rides. And then you're gonna get rides I usually get one or two uh, or three sometimes that are heading me towards home, but um, the whole goal is to get you there at a specific time, right? So in one, one case this happened, um, I set it for about an hour and a half and I got a trip that took me 20 minutes in the opposite direction, but it still left me enough time from there to get back to home. And fortunately I got another ride which took me much closer to home. So when you set the arrival at, uh, on time, then you're going to get rides that may not necessarily take you closer, right? But ultimately, they're knowing that you wanna to get to a particular destination at a particular time, and you will get that. So I actually like this feature quite a bit because I know when I need to be at 10 o'clock, I actually go to my health club at 10 o'clock, I know that I'll always be there before 10, and I can start out my workouts at the exact same time each day. So strategy number two is the old fashioned strategy, which is use the head to destination feature when you just wanna get rides going in a particular direction and use it to get long trips. So for example, if I'm driving in San Francisco, I would use it to, take, to set the destination filter for San Jose, and then I would only get rides that are going that direction. And on the weekends or when there's light traffic, um, I would then get longer rides going in that direction and I could drive on the freeway at 80 miles an hour and that was great because that was the most profitable way for me to spend my time. It's always the most profitable way to make money is by driving at 80 miles an hour on the freeway with a passenger in your car. So that's strategy number two. Use the head to destination feature in order to get there, uh, to get those long trips. Strategy number three is uh, don't be a bonehead like me. <laughs> Use your destination filters wisely. So this is the mistake I told you that I made. So I was in Oakland uh, last weekend and I wanted to get to across the bridge. And I set the destination for the Cliff House, which is on the other side of San Francisco, which would have taken me about 45 minutes if I just drove straight, straight across. And I set the destination filter for just an extra 10 minutes on top of that which wasn't much, much leeway, and I didn't get a ride. And then as I was going across the bridge, I realized once I got across the bridge, 
I didn't want the destination filter on because I just wanted any ride I could get once I got to San Francisco. So I basically wasted a destination uh, f filter um, use uh, because I didn't give myself enough time for the destination filter to find rides. So be sure and give it, I would say, at least a half an hour extra. So if, if it's half, for example, half an hour from where you are to your destination, give it, give it a whole hour. So you give it at least 30 minutes to at least get you one ride, maybe two rides. Um, and that way you won't, you won't use, you won't burn your destination filter uses. Um, that's another good reason I want to recommend you also have Uber because when you have Lyft and Uber or vice versa, then you've got four uses instead of just two because both Uber and Lyft now provide you with, with two. So what are the key takeaways here? Well, I'm obviously not happy that Lyft went from six uh, destination mode uses down to two, right? That's not great. But they did add this arrival on time and I do like that feature. So I'm gonna say, okay, just gotta roll with it. That's all we can do as drivers is roll with it. And uh, these strategies should help you so that you maximize uh, the uses and get the most benefit out of what we have left, which is these two, uh, two uses per day. All right, all right. So thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you have a comment, leave a comment. And um, y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.